Justin Branham for MasterFiddle.com, and we're in our Fiddle Tune a Week segment for 2022. This is the first week of June, and we're going to do Billy in the Low Ground. It's a classic old-time bluegrass and contest-style tune in the key of C. We're going to learn the easy version first, which is suitable for beginner or intermediate level players, and then we'll learn the advanced level version in a separate lesson, which would be suitable for intermediate to advanced level players. Um, this version is based on the two-part kind of old time or bluegrass version, um, and I go to an F chord on the B or second part. Same thing with the advanced version, but in the advanced version, and really the easy version too, it's a good bass melody version, and there's some neat stuff in the advanced version, so if you play more of a contest style, you can definitely grab some things from that. So the, the advanced version is probably more on the bluegrass side, and the easy version here is more of an old time version of the two. All right, so let's get started with the first phrase. And if you're on masterfiddle.com, you can download the sheet music slash tablature for this lesson in the resources tab. That's also where the audio files of me playing through the tune with the rhythm track are at half speed as well, and also without me, just with the rhythm track, so you can practice to that by yourself. All right, here we go. First phrase sounds like this in the key of C. <laughs> Kind of weaves into the next phrase so let's cut that up just a little bit our first part here we've got a third finger on the g string on a down bow this is a three note slur on the g string three on g that's a c note first finger a open g it was on the c or all on the g string and that was all down then we're going to go up here first finger on the g string an a note third finger c open d First finger on the D string, an E note. Third finger G. Open A. First finger A string, a B note. So that's the first measure if you're reading along here. Okay, and if I'm going too fast, you can slow this video down. Just hit the gear button that's in the video player and you can slow it down just like a YouTube video. I think it goes all the way down to quarter speed. Um, the next bit of this phrase, the next half, the second measure. So this is a three note slur on a down bow on the A string. Second finger on the A string, a C note. First finger B, back to C. That was all down. Up bow, third finger on the A string, a D note. Second finger C. Third finger on the D string, a G note. And this is a, a down bow, a three note slur here. Going into the next phrase, it's open A on a down bow. Third finger on the D string, a G note. First finger E. Okay, so now we've got the first bigger phrase here, so it sounds like this. The next phrase off of that E note. Play it again. Off of the E note. Okay, we're over A minor here. The first phrase was over a C chord. This is an A minor chord. 
Um, from that slur, it's an E note to start the phrase, first finger on the D string on a down bow, we're finishing out that slur. And we're gonna go on an up bow here and slide into our fourth finger on the D string, that's an A note. Then two note slur on a down bow here, second finger on the A string, a C note. Open A. Three note slur on an up bow here, this is third finger on the D string, a G note. First finger E, back to third finger G. So, I just completely changed the bowing there, so just, just use that for the notes. Here's, here it is with the correct bowings. Okay, I never bow anything or play anything the same way twice, so if I, if I don't look at the sheet music, I'll completely change it. So I'm, I'm using the sheet music as a memory aid for myself, um, which, is, which is good, actually. That's what you want to get to the point where... You just let stuff kind of organically change and don't always play it the same way. That's that's actually a good thing to have in fiddling because we want to have our own version and we want to have just little tiny differences every time we play even a basic melody like this. Okay, anyway, back to the second phrase of the second, um, sec second small phrase of the second bigger phrase here. We're going to go open A on a down bow, fourth finger on the A string, slide into that note. So those are both down. Hit that E note again with your fourth finger. On a down bow, slur two notes here, fourth finger, the third finger D, second finger C. Okay, so that was. And that whole phrase. put the first two phrases together now. So you can play this with me if you want to. One, two, three. Okay, then we're basically gonna repeat. There's a little small bowing difference at the beginning here, but all of the second, um, uh, Half of this is basically the same, except for the ending phrase. Well, the notes are all the same there. And the bowings are all the same, except for the first three notes. We're going to play a down bow slur here, three notes. That was open one, three on the G string. All those are slurred down. And then the bowings here are all going to be the same now. Ending phrase. And there's actually a first ending and a second ending, so we'll need to go over that too. Um, down bow on the A string, second finger A string. It's a C. Third finger on the D string, a G note. Open A. Three note slur on an up bow here. Third finger on the D string, a G note. First finger E. Open D. So those are all up. And then this is going to go into the repeat, so we're going to go down. Um, this is just like how we started the tune. So it's actually not new information, but we're, we're going to start the phrase early with, with two pickup notes here. So we're going to start on a down bow. This is the third finger on the G string, a C note, to first finger A, to open G, and then we've started the part over. So that's the first ending. The second ending is the same thing. And we just keep that up bow going to the very last note, which is a C note here. So instead of playing the C note down so that we can go into the next, um, go play that part again at the beginning of, of that part, we're gonna go down so that we can start the next part, the B part, on a down bow. So that was down, up, down, up. Okay, same notes, just different bowing so that it makes more sense going into that B part. Okay, so that is the A part. I'll play through the whole thing with the repeat so you can play that with me. And then we'll tackle the B part. Here we go. One, two, three.
So second part, or B part, our first phrase sounds like this. Okay, uh, this is over a C chord, just like the first part, the first phrase was in the first section there. Uh, second finger on the E string on a down bow, we're gonna slide into this note. Three note slur on an up bow here, third finger on the E string, this is A, second finger G, open E. And another three note slur on a down bow this time, starting on the A string, second finger A string is C note, third finger D, open E. So those were all down. Oops. <laughs> I watched my squeaks there. Second finger on the E string, this is on an up bow, a second finger G note on the E string. Third finger A, second finger G, open E. Then third finger on the A string, a D note. This is an up bow slur three notes here. So that was three, two, three, D, C, B on the A string. So now we've got. Okay, the next phrase sounds like this. So. This is a two note slur on a down bow, open E to third finger on the E string, an A note. Up bow, third finger on the E string, an A note again. Another A note on a down bow here, we're gonna do a three note slur on a down bow, so this is three, four, B note, back to three. Second finger G on an up bow, so. And then, down bow, open E. Second finger G, third finger A, second finger G, open E. Three notes slur on an up bow here on the A string, third finger A string, a D note, second finger C, back to third finger D. So that was. Okay, we'll do the first two phrases together. One, two, three, four. repeat that first phrase, but there's just a little difference at the very beginning. Instead of going, I'm going to place open E to second finger on the E string, a G note on a down bow slur. Okay, so that phrase sounds like this. Everything else is exactly the same. And then the ending phrase sounds like this. Fourth finger on the A string, this is um, uh, an E note. Fourth finger on the A string on a down bow. Hit that note again on an up bow slur here, two notes. So it was four to three, E to D. Second finger A string, a C note. Third finger on the D string, a G note. Three note slur on a down bow here, open A. First finger B, second finger C. Third finger on the D string, a G note. Open A. And this is all up here. Uh, four notes slur on an up bow. Third finger on the D string, a G note. First finger E. Open D. And then third finger C on the G string. So that's. Okay, and that's the second part. So let's play the second part with the repeats and then we'll be done with this lesson. Here we go. One, two, three, four. the whole thing. Good solid melody version. This would be great in old time or bluegrass circles or if you play contest style this is a great way to learn the melody because this is basically the melody that everybody plays. It's not hugely different in those three different styles that we would play this tune in. Um, one thing to note, I mentioned this earlier, on the second part instead of going to A minor most people that play bluegrass or old time usually go to F. So this part 
right here. All right. But those notes actually fit over both chords. It could be F or it could be A minor. It doesn't matter. So you won't have to change anything you do um, for this version to work over both ways that people will commonly play it as rhythm players. They could go to an F chord or A minor and it doesn't matter. Um, there's obviously different things you could do that make it sound more like an F chord or more like an A minor chord, but this way the melody is intact and it works over both chord chords, so you don't have to worry about that. So just a little note there, and I think that's pretty much it. So we've got the easy version of the tune, go woodshed that, and then if you're ready for it, you can try the advanced version, most of which is, is pretty obtainable uh, even by an intermediate player. The second variation on the second part is a little tough. It's got a lot of double stops in it. And uh, if you're more into bluegrass or even Western swing, that would be fun to learn those. And uh, you can definitely apply some of that to other tunes as well. So make sure you check that lesson out and I will see you in the next lesson very soon. Thank you.